what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we just finished checking out smackdown the you know we did our live stream reaction for this week and i must say overall the show was quite enjoyable much better than monday night raw it definitely looked like triple h is doing more of the booking when it comes to smackdown because is it the show made a lot more sense there was a lot more wrestling on the show and the crowd was really really hyped definitely gotta give uh props to triple h and vince mcmahon on their complete overall uh overhaul of dominic mysterio i think i'm gonna make a separate video talking about how dominic went from literally just ray's son to essentially one of the biggest heels in the company he had a great reaction i'm gonna make a separate video talking about that because he he's doing some of the best work of his career so far but we got to talk about the whole bloodline storyline because that's obviously the big thing that's going on um after wrestlemania so roman wasn't there for smackdown as expected um and paul Heyman was doing an interview with solo or whatnot talking about the cody and brock situation and that's when jay comes into frame and you know he's talking to them and he's trying to figure out like what's going on you know he doesn't know where jimmy's at apparently roman told jimmy to stay at home jay's gonna take care of the sammy zane problem and this is what he needs to do solo by himself main event jay take care of the sammy zane problem right okay cool jay leaves and that's when paul Heyman relays a different message to solo take if he doesn't take care of the problem you take care of our problems so if jay doesn't get the job done you need to get make sure the job gets done so we go cut to another scene in the back kevin owens is looking at the titles in uh in like a locker room uh sammy comes in the frame he's talking to him and sammy's like you know what i think i need to talk to jay before we go out there kevin thinks it's not a good idea as he should shouldn't trust them should leave them where they at but he's like nah i think i need to talk to jay to see if i can get through to him whatever and even though he told kevin owens is he's, you know he's right he still went and did it so that can cause some friction going forward but ultimately that was the wrong decision because as jay is trying to well as uh sammy catches up with jay he's talking to him right before the match he's like yo i told you we're gonna take these titles there's still a way out for you even if that means we're gonna have to keep fighting we keep beating you down there's still an out for you that roman is doesn't care about you the bloodline is crumbling solo's looking at you as he'll he'll samoan spike you at any time i'm trying to get you to see the light and then you hear some type of ruckus in the back. Kevin Owens, I'm not Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn and uh, Jay go investigate. And that's when we see Solo pretty much knocked one of the uh, production crates onto Kevin Owens' leg or knee. It pretty much incapacitated him. So now Kevin Owens is in pain and uh, Sami's upset. Jay's looking at him. Solo just doing his job like Roman wanted him to. So we get to the match. Good match as expected. You know what I'm saying? Sammy's still trying to talk some sense to him. But we get to the ending of the match. And Solo has definitely become the major enforcer for Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. Because once again, he gets involved in the match as he comes out there. He gets involved. Sammy's like, I got, I guess you can say, kind of hung up on the apron area, sitting down. And while the referee's back was turned, uh, Solo hit him with a Samoan spike. The Samoan thumb or whatnot <laughs> and uh jay was able to pick up the win there so at this point sammy he's he's pretty much out of it he lost the match sammy's out of it then all of a sudden uh, uh solo's about to give sammy the beats i'm like oh man he about to send him to the upper room oh this is not good he's giving them the beats or whatnot and he's about to hit him with the samoan spike but jay stops him crowd's chanting for jay i was like okay is he coming to the light? No, he proceeds to super kick Sami Zayn. I was like, oh no. So uh Solo's about to get the chair. He's about to execute the guy. They're about to get rid of their their Sammy uh, Zayn Kevin Owens problem tonight. And that's when Matt Riddle's music hit. 
And if you guys remember, per storyline wise, Matt Riddle was written off a of TV by none other than Solo Sokoa. So they end up, uh, they he ended up getting in the ring and getting them out of there, coming to Sammy's aid. So I do think that's going to be probably something they set up for next week's show. That's continuity. Even though we knew why he he, he was written off a of TV because he had to go to rehab. Solo sent that boy to rehab, so that's crazy. But continuity. I know some people in the chat was like, uh, Matt Riddle is like, well, they did have issues there. So Solo did injure him per storyline wise and put him on the show. So it only makes sense that he comes back for some retribution to get some revenge. So we'll see how that play out. But they are really they're really hamming up the story with the bloodline. I'm I'm really interested to see when jay and jimmy gonna finally stand up for themselves and tell roman no and then i'm really gonna be interested to see when solo finally realizes wait a minute roman's tripping now this is my family too i'm out when solo realizes it that's when things are gonna get very very interesting we just gotta wait and see how it pans out. But overall, SmackDown was much, much, much more enjoyable. It was actually a wrestling show because they actually had wrestling on it. So comment down below. Let me know you guys enjoying where this the uh bloodline story situation is heading towards now. And also let me know um if you guys enjoyed SmackDown tonight. Was it uh, enjoyable for you? Because it definitely was for you. It was much more easier to watch than it was Monday Night Raw. Not looking forward to Monday night. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. But appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping on me. See you on the next one.